Hello and welcome to the HPIN Learning Hub. In today's video, we're going to look at why we don't use glycol in our systems. Please like and subscribe. If you're interested in any more heat pump installation information, we're constantly creating new videos and posting them out to you so you can gain more information on air source heat pump installations. So let's get into it. We don't like to use any glycol in our systems. And there's several reasons why we don't use glycol. The first is it actually changes the specific heat capacity of water. And what this means is that it affects the amount of energy that the water can actually absorb. And it makes this energy less. The less energy that the water can absorb, then the less energy it can give us out in heat into our heating system. The other thing it does to water is it actually changes the way it expands. And on larger systems with big volumes of water, we might have to add an extra expansion vessel to take up that extra expansion. There's many reasons why we don't like to use GuideCo in our systems. Other reasons include the fact that it's messy. It's blue, it's got a blue dye in it, so we can see that we've got glyco in our system. That blue dye, if we have any leaks on the system, can go onto the customer's carpets, walls, etc., and uh, make quite a nasty stain. The other reason is that we have to change the glycol every five years in a system. So we have to drain the whole thing down and refill it with glycol and check that we've got the right percentages within our system to protect it from freezing. You're also going to need some expensive equipment. So you might need a pumping station. You're also going to need a refractometer to test the percentage levels of glyco in the system. So all these things add up. Instead of using glyco in our systems to prevent the outdoor unit from freezing, we use the antifreeze valves. And they're a last ditch resort because the unit, if powered, will defrost itself and stop itself from freezing anyway. Thanks for watching our video on why we don't use glyco in our systems. If you'd like to learn more about the antifreeze valve, there's a video already available on the Learning Hub. In our next video, we're going to be looking at the importance of sizing a heat pump correctly for your house. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe for more information on heat pump installations.